Hey guys, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. How's everybody doing today? Sorry it took me so long. I started to hit the go live button and I couldn't find my um my loop. You gotta have your loop if you're gonna open a jewelry jar, right? <laughs> so I had to run out um, to the car and grab my purse and get the one out of my purse. Um, I'm using this one. It's not my favorite one, but um, it will work. So I want to say hi in the chat to Leslie and Belinda and Bronda's here. Got junk in our trunk and Fran need more stuff. Hello, everybody. Okay, you guys. So um, I have been waiting a whole week to open this jar. What would I do when I hopped up to get my loop? I must have lost my bucket. Okay, this is horrible. And I see it sitting in the kitchen. So hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm so unprepared. Okay, just a second. Okay, hey, sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm rushing because I know that um, John and Lonnie are gonna be going live at two o'clock. So I'm trying to hurry up and um, get this started and go through it. So hey, Terry, Kenyon, hello, and Dwayne and Tiff's Thrifts and Lonnie, hey. Um, Angie's here, hey, Angie. Okay, um, so glad you guys came and joined me. Okay, so let's open this bad boy. So here it is. Hey, Nathan, how are you doing? It's huge, right? It's a big jar. And I paid $29.99 for this one. So I'm going to open it up. Open it up. I'm having trouble speaking lately. Does that have to do with getting old? Um, hey, Jackie and Julie's here and falling into space. Hello, guys. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, seriously, I don't. I have no clear space on my desk, you guys. I have just like this little bitty tiny space. I desperately need to clean, you guys. Cleaning is not my thing, though. No. I'd rather be out shopping or listing on eBay or cooking dinner or something. <laughs> Do you guys like to clean? I used to like to clean before. Oh my goodness, so right off the bat, look, right on top is this bangle and it says something. I'm gonna look, see, look and see what it says. Says Mexico. Uh, I don't know if that necessarily means it's silver or not. Maybe it does. It kind of looks like it could be. So I'll have to um, test that out. Hey, Chicago Crown Hustler. Kurt is here. Hello. And Marissa. Yay. And Brandy. Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so I just opened the jar and I'm starting to dig through it. Actually, I need to pour it out, don't I? And I keep seeing all this pretty stuff on top. Here's another pretty bangle. Um, I'm not seeing any markings on this one. It's real pretty, though. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? Wait, are you talking to me or somebody else? I can't tell. Oh, it's a quote. Oh, well, if you're asking me, Nathan, I'd probably be like maybe 30. <laughs> Hello, love them anyway, 22. Good morning, or it's afternoon here in Texas. Um, okay, so, and here is a really pretty navy blue and gold beaded necklace, and this one's marked too. And it's marked Napier. So that's pretty. I'll probably maybe put this one on Etsy and eBay. Um, Nathan, you're 84 today. Is today your birthday? Ooh, this looks pretty. I hope all the pieces are here. Ooh, it looks like they are. That is really pretty. Pretty statement necklace. I think all the pieces are there. It looks like looks like it is. 
No markings on this one though. But yeah, that'd be really nice for my um, antique booth. <laughs> right, Angie says Nathan isn't that old. Um, here's the pretty pearl necklace. I don't see any markings on it. It doesn't feel gritty. So, um, oh, and it's actually like paint coming off. Yeah, that's going back in another junk pile. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it all out. So here's my bucket. I'm gonna pour it in here. Nathan says, every day that I get up is another birthday. That's awesome. Twain said, looks like my green necklace I had. I know, I should probably keep that necklace. It's in my eBay store, though. Ooh, look at this. That's Halloween-y. Looks like it might be broke, though. That's cute, though. Could take that apart and maybe do something with them. Maybe restring it. The chances of that happening are very slim to none. Hey, Sherry, the cheerful nest is here. Hello. Hey, Perla's jewelry box. Ooh, there's lots of sparkly stuff in here, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And, of course, we have some shells. These are really good to craft with, too, like for nautical type things. But for right now, they're going back in the jar. Um, all right, let me find some good stuff. Hey, Uniquely Me, hello. Well, this is interesting. Looks like a little gold bracelet. Ooh, look there, it's yucky. That's what you call, is that green? I can't tell if that's that V word. Angie knows what it's called and I can never remember. <clears throat> I'm not seeing any marks on it either. Hmm. Maybe I'll tear it apart and scrap with that real pretty piece right there. Hey Susan, welcome. Susan says, pull apart the skulls and sell for someone else to string. Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, I like that idea. Like, put them in a baggie, like craft in a bag. Put some string in there. I like that. I like the way you think, Susan. That's a good idea. Okay, so Julie says, ver verdigris. Okay, I can never remember. Seriously, I think I have a little note over here somewhere because I always forget that. Um, uh, let's see. Perla's jewelry box says uh, that she's been wanting to get a jewelry jar but didn't know if it's worth it. I feel, feel like it's work, worth it if you have enough avenues to move it on. Um, Sherry says, new glasses, Tanya. I like those. I'm in the market for glasses. So you notice everyone's. I know. I must have about 10 pairs of um, reading glasses around the house because I'm always losing them. <laughs> but these are the ones that don't glare quite as much as the rest of them that I had. And I think I paid a quarter for these at a garage sale. And I don't need real strong strength. Mine are only 1.00. So, um, you know, I'm just in my uh, 40s here, mid 40s. So <laughs> maybe in 10 years, I might need a bigger uh, uh, strength prescription, whatever you call those things. Okay, so this is really pretty. And I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. I like how the long pearls, the necklaces, how you can knot them up like this. And I just think that looks so pretty, like with the right outfit. Um, so I'm going to keep these for me back over there. Love those long pearls. Hey, Cheryl, uh, cyber. Hello. Welcome. Okay. I better get going. Okay. So what is this? Oh, these look funky. Oh, looks like it's missing the, um, backing. But these are really funky vintage looking earrings, huh? And they're clip earrings, but one of them is missing the backing. But yeah, I could probably get a backing for that at Hobby Lobby. Um, oh, you have some um, knotted pearls like that too, Angie, that you've kept for yourself? They're really pretty. Here's a real pretty little, another little orange blingy earring. It's pierced, but I only see one so far, so I'll set it aside. Um, of course, I always gravitate towards the sparkly stuff. And here's a really pretty red clip earring. I 
don't see any markings on it. But we'll see if we can find the matching one. This is interesting and it looks pretty broke. This reminds me. You guys want to see this necklace? I posted it in a jewelry group last night. It's been sitting in my junk drawer here in front of me in my desk. And I pulled it out last night. I was like, I should take a picture of that and get it listed. Isn't this pretty? They said it was um, like red carnelian. And I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. And I've had it ever since the summer. I've just been sitting on it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I already took pictures. I just need to get this listed. So are you guys familiar with the red carnelian at all? And if so, what do you think I should possibly ask for this? I was thinking about doing an auction because I've never seen anything quite like this. I mean, as soon as, um, I believe it was Lynn who told me what it was in the jewelry group. And as soon as I saw it, um, I went and I looked up on eBay to find something, but I couldn't find any uh, anything similar to it. But it's real heavy too. Um, so I gotta get that listed. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is some blingy bling. It's a Texas watch, like gold nugget style with some blingy rhinestones. Uh, let me see if there is a... It says Lone Star, Dallas, Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Hong, Hong Kong 6, Hong 6 Kong. Yeah, that's neat. See any markings on it? That might be a fun novelty piece. Somebody might want that. <laughs> Lonnie says, laughing out loud, that Texas wash. Y'all are gaudy over there. <laughs> well, I will not lie. Texans have been known to be gaudy, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It's not working. You get it? I don't even know if I could pull it off. What do y'all think? I don't know. I haven't worn a watch in years. I have my iPhone with me all the time, so I never wear it. Um, okay. So this is pretty. Just a real thick gold tone necklace. But it's not sticking to the magnet. I don't see any markings on it. That's definitely a little gaudy for my liking. Um, <laughs> Rhonda says, if you ain't gaudy in the South, you might as well be dead. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness, that's the truth. And you know, the older I get, um, I find myself wearing like bigger jewelry and I just, I don't even care anymore. If it makes me happy, then, you know, I'll rock it. Okay, here is um, another little gaudy piece. I said little, but it's kind of big. It's like a bangle. And it clasps, but it's not lined up. Let's see if there's any markings on it. Not seeing any right away. But yeah, that's pretty. I won't say clasp, though. See, it keeps popping out. So, I don't know, it'd probably still stay on your wrist anyway. That's kind of neat. But yeah, I don't know if I could sell it because it won't stay clasped. I don't know. I'll have to see. I might go back in the jar. You think the star bracelet will sell? It won't stay clasped. I don't know. Maybe I'll just say that in the listing. It is pretty neat looking. There's the back side. Okay, I'll set it aside. Maybe I'll try and sell it. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much stuff in here. <clears throat> okay, so here's the reason why I bought it. This super cute little Mickey Mouse watch. Um, and it has a black leather band. Oh, maybe it's not leather. It says something about lizard. Lizard. Is that lizard skin? Um, and then it also says... Chrysler, Chrysler, K-R-E-I-S-L-E-R. So, um, K 
get a pair of pliers. I have a pair of pliers somewhere. Girl, I can craft with some jewelry and, and stuff like that. I just got to find them. That's a good idea. Maybe try and put it back in place. I'll have to try that. Um, okay. Lizard, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, Jackie, about the pliers, for sure. Um, oh, but look, I just noticed it's got some wear to it right there and right there. Or maybe that's just dirty and I can wipe it off. I don't know. Either way, I think it's really neat, though. Says Japan. What's the whole bunch of numbers? R movement. So, yeah, I think that's pretty neat. Uh, Lonnie says, Tanya, is there a maker on the Mickey on the watch part? I don't I think this is it. Chrysler? Chrysler? I think. Is it a Seiko? I don't think so. It just has a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, what are the numbers? Oh, it's really small. V515-5928. So, and its little hands move to tell the time. I'll have to look that one up, definitely. Rhonda says that uh, Chrysler, I hope I'm saying that right, does a lot of calf and lizard skin. Okay. But yeah, I didn't see any other markings. Here's a pretty little stretchy bracelet. I know Angie don't like the stretchy bracelets, but it looks like somebody crafted that one. Um, let's see. There's a little, how do you say, is it floor? I'll probably keep that, put that in my crafting jar. Here is a gaudy pair. Actually, it's only one so far. Uh, silver tone clip earrings. I kind of like those. I would list those if I could find the matching one. Lonnie says, Tanya, I would love it if you branched into watches more. That would be interesting. I know, and I need to. Um, I usually don't ever get rid of my watches. I have a whole bunch of watches that I've been hoarding and keeping separate. So, because for that very reason, because I know that someday uh, I want to have time, I want to definitely look into the watches more. That'd be fun. So I'm looking at this necklace right now, trying to figure out how it works, and I see a marking on it. Oh, it says listener. So let's see. I need to find a place to clasp it. Maybe you just clasp it anywhere. It's really pretty. And here's the clasp that says listener on it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It was all tangled up. So let me clap. And then it has, it has a little hang tag on it, too. So there it is, class. And here's the hang tag. And it looks like, looks like a K to me. Let me show y'all. Looks like a K, but the clasp says listener. So that's interesting. I'll definitely put that as aside. Oh, look, I found another one of these. I love to wear these. This one's black. Although I'm not Catholic, but still, I like to wear them. Probably just because I saw Paul Cantu wearing them. <laughs> right, Lonnie? But yeah, these are so fun. I love these little stretchy bracelets. They're so pretty. Wait. They get twisted around easy. So it's really pretty. Um, another gold piece. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see any um, markings on it, though. But yeah, I definitely think this is vintage with that pretty little tassel there on the end. And I guess you just clasp. Now, you know what? This might be a belt, you guys. I think this might be a belt. It's long enough to be a belt. That's for sure. 
So maybe I could list it as a vintage gold tone belt. I don't know. Let's see. Lydia's here. Hello, Lydia. And Belinda, I can't remember if I said hi to you. Did you just get here? Okay. Uh, here's a crazy looking watch by, okay, get ready. I'm about to chop a word up here. Uh, Bijou Turner. That's interesting. And there's the maker there on the back. I'm not familiar with this brand. So I'll have to look that one up. Um, you want to see the clasp on the belt, Angie? On this one? Let's see. Whoopsie. It's just one of the types that you just hook it wherever it's adjustable. That's what makes me feel like it's a belt. Is Michael in here? Oh, you had one one just like this that was in the lot you sent to the Rolling Picker? Awesome. Are there watches? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Gosh, there's a ton of watches in here, you guys. Here's another one. Real pretty gold. Let me see. Oh, this one says, um, I'm probably going to chop this too, Belova. Bulova, yeah. Uh, Movement Japan, Bowl 30 Dial Thailand. And I didn't see any markings on the clasp. Angie says that's a belt. Yeah, I thought so. That's a pretty watch, though. Oh, wait, it does say something. Oh, it says West West Germany. Yeah, West Germany. That's really pretty. I do have a couple watches listed. Not many, though. But I'm definitely going to set all these aside and uh, definitely probably list them soon. That's a real pretty pattern to me. It's almost like it's got some gold and silver in it. Real pretty. Okay, so Rhonda says I was saying it wrong. It's boo. Wait. Bull, bull over, boo, boo lover. I don't know. So um, the great thing is, whenever I list it, I don't have to pronounce it. <laughs> but it, um, Kurt says it's a great brand, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, here is what looks to be a vintage, like lime green necklace, beaded. Again, adjustable, so you can clasp it wherever you want. Skippy. Okay, literally somebody just drove by our house and he's barking. Crazy chihuahua. Yeah, I don't see any markings on this one. Oh, what is this? Another stretchy bracelet. Stretchy stuff. I just put that back in the jar. Ooh, here's another one, you guys. But this looks similar to that other one. But this one says Alex L, I think. Uh, Alex L. But the same style as that other one. See, here's the other one. So that's interesting. It almost looks like some kind of abstract face of sorts, maybe. I don't know. It's interesting. Oh my goodness, a ton of watches, you guys. Uh, here's a Seiko watch. This one says Seiko Quartz Gal Galaxy. Wish you guys could see that better. I'm trying to show you without the glare. So that one's really nice. I'll definitely list that because I know that uh, Craigslist Hunter was talking about the watches and somebody else was too recently. I want to say it was, was it John Lonnie? 
I think Chad even said something about them too. Uh, more stretchy bracelets. There's another watch. This one says Geneva. These watches aren't really worth anything, in my opinion. What do you guys think? I mean, they're just a dime a dozen, right? Um, Melinda says they look like nice watches. I hope so. Uh, Terry says you have one of those too, huh? <laughs> Skibby the dog who barks at everything. Mine is Callie. Callie barks at everything too, Terry. <laughs> I guess it's good. They're protecting us, right? Oh, here's some funky rings. I guess they're rings. I don't even know if they'll, they don't even go all the way on my pinky. They're funky. Like maybe mid-century? Oh my goodness, the watches. Well, here's the broke watch. By fossil maybe I could sell that one just for parts I've done that before it's a nice looking watch men's watch it's got like a navy blue face on it um, Julie says we have Lily and Pip Lord God do not let the wind blow and Oh, I gotta move my chat over here. And a leaf blow in the world ends. Oh my gosh, I know, right? If I'm in here in my room, like my kids can't even walk in here, like Brandon can't walk in here if Skippy's with me. Skippy starts barking at Brandon. It's nuts. Hey Mike, what's going on? Um, what? Mike says, Yep, Tanya, those watches are not worth oh, the Geneva ones. Yes, yes. Oh, send them to me, he says. <laughs> Okay, um, and here is yet another one. This one says carriage, I think. Yeah, carriage, indigo, indigo, glow, indigo glow. And looks like this one has a leather band as well. Which, and this has the same stuff on it as that other one. I don't know, did somebody get some paint on them? What the deal is with that? Um, here's a broke watch. Blingity bling. It's not working. Going back in the jar. Um, here's a funky little stretchy ring. Ooh. Here's some pretty pearly looking blue beads are really pretty you might have to keep those they're kind of heavy too hello Oki gal treasures hey i'm glad that you're here Dwayne from msp auctions is trying to get a hold of you so um maybe you could um get in touch with him through the msp auctions facebook page Okay, great. I'm so glad. That's great. Thank you. Ooh, looky, looky. Isn't that pretty? There's the back of it. This one looks vintage to me for sure. It's really pretty, huh? That'd look really pretty on a hat. Here's my hat. Let's see. Maybe right there like that. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's really pretty. I don't see any marks on it. No, no marks. That is gorgeous. I love that. Love the colors too. Okay. What time are we working on? 120. Oh my gosh, see the time goes by so fast. Here's another watch. Real pretty band on that one, almost like a little bracelet. Um, let's see what the, this one says, it's hard to read because the hands, oh no, it's missing the little dial to where you can move the hands, but it starts with the XA Xanadu. 
Japan Movement Quartz, Xanadu. So that's interesting. Yes, Lonnie, working on it. I just had lunch today with my friend who knows a whole lot about that stuff, and <clears throat> she's got me all excited. So awesome things are coming, you guys. I just got to get busy and start working on it. So this is a real pretty, looks like a Christmas necklace pendant. There's a little loop there. I don't see any markings on it, though. That's real pretty to put on a little gold chain and wear it Christmas time. I might keep that for me. See, that's my problem. I want to keep everything. Um, let's see. The watch. Oh, here's another Disney watch. This one has Goofy on it. It says Laura, Loris Quartz. And this one is made by the Walt Disney Company, Movement Japan, with a whole bunch of numbers. Goofy. It's got a black leather band. Of course, I think it's leather. I'd say that's definitely vintage. And then there's the back side. Or is it upside down? Goodness, I'm a little slow. <laughs> Okay, let's hurry up. Oh, I found the other matching earring. Yay! So we got a matching pair of these and their clip. So that would be really good for Etsy. Here is a bunch of necklaces tangled on this stretchy ring, adjustable rather. That's really pretty. Oh, but the main stone's missing. Duh. Back in the jar, you it. You're not worthy. Oh, look at the little kitty cat Christmas pen. So cute. No maker's marks. Well, that's really cute. Cute, cute. Hello, Walter. Welcome. Hey, Gabby. She is from Montreal, Canada. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Gabby. Julie has a little kitty cat brooch. Meow. Madeline wants a cat so bad, you guys. And I wouldn't mind having a cat. I love cats. It's just my allergies. but And I don't know how they're going to react with the dogs. But I figure... We'll probably end up getting one someday soon anyway. I love cats. Uh, here is an Armatron. A little Armatron watch. Really pretty. Fancy gold and silver toned. Combination there. Okay, Lottie says that the goofy ones go for even higher prices. Sweet. I am excited. Oh, wow, here's a um, brooch, gold tone with a little pearl flower there, and it does have a hallmark, and it says Joan, Jean Jules, it's J-O-N-E-U-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E. I've never heard of this, John O, John O, you, I'm not sure. And you guys probably aren't going to be able to see it. It's right over there. But that's really pretty. Hello, Healy. They ask, do you do watches sell on eBay? I haven't had much luck with them. Um, yeah, they sell. I just sold a Tweety Bird watch non working for $11 uh, on eBay, and I think I got it in a jewelry jar. Hey, Karen's at the beach. Oh, wait. Julie says that her pin like this is Mark TC. Well, girl, I am blind as a bat. There's a good chance I have missed it. Um, but I don't see anything. 
Mm -mm. I don't see anything on it. Okay, there's still so much stuff, y'all. Oh my goodness. All right. Ooh, these are really pretty. I love these. Would do good on Etsy, huh, Angie? Those are gorgeous. Fancy pants. And they're, it's a clip. I hope the other one's in here. Ooh, another one. Ooh, but I don't like this one's too heavy. It's like uh, stretchy. That's so big, it could be like an anklet. All right, back to the earring. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset if it's not in here. Mm, I'm not seeing it. Let me set it to the side. Maybe we'll find it. Uh, ooh, here's another Texas watch. <laughs> this one's gold. This one's for me. Really pretty. Ooh, and it's got a safe, safe, safety class thingamajigger. Don't see any markings, though. That is really pretty. What's a heli fish? Lonnie says that earring looks like a oh a jellyfish, duh. It's a jellyfish. Watch out, I'm gonna sting you. It's really pretty. It does look like a jellyfish. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So I was gonna see what this watch says. It just says stainless, stainless steel bag. But yeah, maybe I could sell that with the other one together. Ton of watches in here. Here's another one. This one looks like a vintage digital Armatron. Gabby says, I love to watch Tanya videos. Thank you. I'm glad you're here with us. Okay. Trying to hurry, you guys. Here is a bracelet. Oopsie. Just dropped some stuff there. We already know we did not look at this. What is this? This is interesting. That is really pretty, huh? Princess Casserole. Carla's here. Hello. Ooh, look at this little clasp. How fancy is that? Let me looky looky. No markings on that side. Yeah, I don't think this is gold the way it's uh, tarnished and stuff. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, I've definitely seen really I mean, dirty, worn looking gold like that. That is really an interesting piece. Oh, it is marked. Uh, okay, I've never seen this. It says um, Zedos. Wait. Um, something. Zekos. Love. Laka. Claw. Clue. Slovakia. Slovakia. Something Slovakia. That is really pretty. Gorgeous necklace. I'm going to have to look that one up. Hi, Lucy. Um, Belinda says, I believe you'll make your money back on this jar. No problem. Me too. So in case you guys are just tuning in, I spent $29.99 on the jar. Okay, this is a really old looking watch with a stretchy band. There is the front. Upside down. Oh my goodness, Scratch Flips is going to be live in 30 minutes. <laughs> I better hurry. Let's see what this says. Okay, this one is marked or says Ben Russ. Ben Russ. It's kind of fancy. I definitely think this is a men's watch. Um, Angie says post it in the group. That's a good idea. Hey, Tammy Talks. Welcome. 
Um, Tammy Talk says, I have a black men's watch that says Porsche design on the back. Got it from, got it in a jar. Anyone ever heard of it? I have never heard of that. Hey, Brandy Sparkman, welcome. She says she needs to figure out where to get, it, where to get a jar. <laughs> right? Jars are so much fun. I haven't found any this week, though. Well, here's a necklace. Oopsie. Does look like it says something there on the back. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's marked best. Have you guys ever heard of best costume jewelry? I um I have some other pieces that are marked best. What do you think about that, Angie? And I seems like I've looked on eBay and they don't really go for that much. Um Angie says all she's gotten done today is watch people on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, no, I have days like that, too. I'm not even kidding. I do. All right, let me see if there's anything exciting in here. There's a little ring. See if it's marked in any way real quick. Uh -uh, I'm not seeing any markings on that, but I'll look closer later. Oh, what is this? Necklace? Stretchy necklace? Oh, Gabby says no hat today, Tanya. No, I kind of fixed my hair this morning since I was having lunch with a friend. So um, I decided to not wear a hat. You want me to put on my hat? I got a hat right here. <laughs> it's me. I swear it is. It's really me. Um, love them anyway. 22 is asking about the jewels on the Ben Russ watch. Yes, it had little red jewels on it. What have I done with it? I know I set it aside. Um, what did I do with it? Oh, well, I can't find it right now, but they're definitely little red jewels in there. Is that a good brand? Uh, Okie Gal Treasure says, it's crazy hat day at work, so I wore my pirate Minnie Mouse ears. Oh, how cute. Cute, cute. This is pretty. I don't know if it's broke or not. It looks like it might be broke. But it looks maybe like a vintage hairpin. Did I say pin? Clip. Like the Brit. But it's got a clasp. I used to wear these all the time when I was in high school. Um, here's another one of those little rings. It almost looks like it could be made out of a rock, like a some kind of a stone or something. Put that with the other ones. Here is a lightweight silver necklace choker of sorts. Not seeing any markings on that one. And yet another one, that one looks like the, uh, what do you call that? Hematite or Hema something or another. Uh, here is a watch that says appear. Appear. That'll do anything with that one. Here is a felt. Mm, pine cone maybe a tree I'm not even sure but it's got some pins on it um, one of them says MHB I don't know this symbol must be for some kind of group or organization of sorts so I don't even know oh well, it does have some markings on the back I've seen pins like this be real gold Oh my goodness, it is. It's Mark 10K. Let me take it off of here. Ooh, and there's two of them just like this. Okay, what does the husband want? Okay, my husband just texted me and said, I see you. There's a hairy bat behind me. 
Okay, if you're watching, Kurt, you're being weird. <laughs> Um, Angie says cedars of Lebanon. What is that? It's like a, a organization, Angie. Yes, it's gold money. It says 10k, and it has a little B, like in a little house or something. I'm gonna look at all of them. Wait, can you guys see? I hope you can see. Yeah, it says 10K, and there's two of them. And they were on here. And this one is the same as the one I just showed you. Now, that won't be worth a lot of money. I'm sure it doesn't hardly weigh anything. But um, let's take these off and look real quick. Trying to hurry. Okay, why does my... Okay, sorry you guys, I gotta plug in my charger. Okay, there it goes, so I'm 30% now. Okay, I will look at these later and tell you guys because I'm just gonna take too long to get these things off. But yeah, I'll make a post, I'll talk about these in the jewelry group. I'll make a post on them. Okay, here is a little ring. Let's see if it's marked. I don't think they're leaf earrings. It's definitely a pin because the back is Nelly. Hey, Nelly. She loves my nails. Thank you so much. Okay, so Angie says it's a That's good to know. Thank you so much. Um, but I need to go back up and screen or Oh, my goodness. There's stuff all over the computer. Uh, let me see what you said it was called so I can take a picture. So when I do my research, I will know. Uh, let's see, where did Angie say that? Cedars of Lebanon. Camera. Cedars of Lebanon, where is that at? Oh my goodness, I'm so slow. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, it's definitely like a little pin because that's what the back looks like. So I set that there. Let me look at this real quick. Um, oh, I don't think this is anything I can tell by the way it looks. That's nothing. Uh, okay, I, I might be borderline sweating here. This is hard work, right? Skippy, little single earring. Is it marked? Oh, I hear a dog barking outside. It's not marked, you guys. And here's a mess of messy jewelry that I'm not going to try and entangle right now. But there is an old-looking key. That's neat. Old-looking key. I want another key. This looks like it could be really neat if I could get it untangled. Must be like a necklace. These are pretty. Ooh, I like these. Little uh, gold hammered look little earrings. Um, let's see. Hello, Sidlo. Welcome. Angie says, do a part two. No way, because then I'll forget what I've done and what I haven't done. And Oh, tall cedars of Lebanon possible. Okay, good. Um, Belinda says, there is a Ben Rest watch face only like yours that sold for $25.99. It's in rough shape too. Awesome, Belinda. Thank you so much for telling me. Sweet. I know, Angie. I hate rushing, too. They do take a lot of time, though, don't they? Oh, my goodness. There must be about six of these rings, you guys. Oh, look. I found a match for the other orange earring. Yay. Really, but they're really pretty. Ooh. 
Ooh, there's a pretty pair, or actually it's just one. Oops, be still. Little pearl earrings. I like these. They're really pretty. I love pearls. Oh, it's a snowman. Duh. So cute. I hope the other one's in here. I don't think these are marked. Oh, here's a pretty little Christmas earring. That's pretty. Uh, Princess Casserole says they do take a while, and I usually end up untangling a lot. So hard to do live. Good for you. I'm going to try to go live one day. You should. It's so much fun. I have so much fun talking to everybody. Here is a big black. I don't know what in the world. Must be about chain tangled. Bengal bracelet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ooh, these are pretty. Did I already show this one? I think I showed a silver one like this. Pretty. Here's a vintage pair of clip on earrings. Always love these. I like to craft with these too. Really pretty. Little pearl in the middle there. Hello, treasure hustlers. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, good. Here's the other one. I think that's the other one. Yeah. So now I have a matching pair of these crazy big gold metal earrings. Really pretty. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's a clip-on earring. Not seeing any markings. But that looks like a stone of sorts. It's really pretty, huh? <sighs> okay. And we have another one, clip earrings. These remind me of the 90s, 80s, stuff like this. Ooh, this is pretty. I was trying to get this out earlier and it wouldn't come out. It's a bracelet. Let's see if it's marked in any way. really pretty got a fancy clasp like it could be real but I'm not seeing anything no markings oh wait there is a marking it says a8 a eight. I guess it says a eight. I don't know what that means. Um, nonetheless, I'll test it with my gold tester, and it's not sticking to the magnet. So we'll see. Another crazy ring, I guess. Uh, Another one. Stretchy bracelet. Oh, here's um, an earring to match that best necklace I found earlier. And here is another earring, but it's missing its, uh, what do you call it? Oh, here it is right here. It came out. Maybe I can put it back in there. And sell those because they're really pretty. And here's a little watch face. Let's see what it's marked. Uh, it's not marked anything. 
maybe it went on a necklace or I don't know. That's interesting. Thrifty Paper Garden, Julie is here. Hey, Julie. Stretchy bracelet alert. I know, Angie. Here's another one. Oh, my goodness. Here's like, I guess, like a, a puka shell of sorts. I don't waste my time selling those. They don't go for that much. This is a bracelet, I guess. Stretchy bracelet. Let's see. What time are we looking at? 146. Okay, I need to wrap this up, you guys, because Lonnie and John are going to be going live here in a minute. Um, Lonnie, why don't you post the link for your show in the chat if you're still here? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, look, here are some more of those things. I don't know. I mean, I really think these are rings, you guys. There's a whole bunch of them. Here and here. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Just some stretchy stuff. But I'm excited about those 10 karat gold pins. So I'm going to check that out, and I'll make a group, a post in the jewelry group. And um, here's another single. Maybe I'll find the other one. These are really pretty, too. Um, hey, Ann Hamilton. Okay, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up, and um, I hope everybody will go over and check out Lonnie's channel here at 2 o'clock. And um, sometime next week, I'll come on and do, like, the individual jewelry that I've been picking up. Picking up. Um, and there's going to be a lot of garage sales this weekend. I went to a garage sale this morning. I'll post that video later on this evening and um, show you guys what I picked up this morning. Hopefully I'll get that stuff listed today because, oh my goodness, you guys, my death piles are nuts. So, so I want to say thank you so much to everybody who joined in the chat. I'm so glad that you stopped by. It means so much to me when you hang out and um, talk with me and our friends in the chat. I really appreciate it. And, um, I guess we will see you guys later. And a reminder, I'm going to be on the MSP auction show Saturday night with um, Steve and Steph, Resale Killers. And I keep thinking that today, wait, today's Thursday, but the kids don't go to school tomorrow. They're off, teacher and service day or something. So I keep thinking today's Friday. So, but it's not. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm hoping to go out to the antique booth tomorrow. And um, hopefully I'll make a quick little video about that and show you guys. So thanks so much for joining me and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys.